Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. In today's video, we're gonna be showing you guys how to add an additional Windows Server 2022 domain controller to your Active Directory. In the previous videos, we went over some configuration for ADDS, and we'll put those videos in the description box below if you wanna watch it. For demonstration purposes, in those previous videos, we were using what we'll call Server 1, and for this video, we're gonna be adding what we'll call Server 2 as our additional domain controller. Before we get started with this process, if you're interested in purchasing Windows Server, remote desktop licenses, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll put links in the description box below. So without further ado, let's jump in. All right, so I'm gonna start by logging into Server 1 here. And we're just gonna take a look at the server's setup. We're gonna verify that server one is on the domain indigodomain.com. This is our uh, demonstration domain here. And this is the domain controller. And its IP address is 192.168.1.98. And click into domain controllers. There we can see server one present. Okay, at this point, I'm gonna switch over to server two. And we're signed in here as a local administrator. So our steps are gonna be applying an IP address, changing the computer name, and then joining the domain. And all of this can be done from server manager. For the first step, I'll go ahead and assign an IP address. I'll go to the properties of the ethernet uh, section here. Click into IPv4, and we need to give it an IP address that's within our subnet. I'm gonna put 192.168.1.2. And the subnet mask is a 24-bit uh, prefix here. That's 255.255.255.0. As far as the DNS server, there's only one on the network, which is gonna be server one. So we're gonna put that Again, we'll hit OK, and then we can close the screen. And the next thing we're gonna do is change the name of the computer. We can click this little link at the top, and we'll hit the Change button, and we're gonna rename this to Server 2. This will require a reboot, so we're gonna do that really quick, and we'll see you guys on the other side. All right, we're signed back in again as a local administrator, and the next thing to do is to join the domain. So we're gonna go back to the Local Server tab, and we'll click on the link that says work group. Again, we're gonna press change. And then here we can select the domain itself. And then we're gonna type in that domain name. And we can simply press okay here. Now here we're prompted for credentials and we need an account that has access to be able to control the domain. And then this is gonna be the name of your domain backslash administrator. In our case, this is indigo domain. Again, that's a backslash administrator. <coughs> and then just enter the password for that administrator and we'll click OK. Now, if you see anything other than this welcome to the domain, I was actually just having some issues with it and I'll go ahead and show you guys really quick before we do this restart. So the number one reason you might not be finding the domain is if you incorrectly configured your IP address or your DNS settings here. So again, our IP address is within the subnet mask. It's uh, 192.168.1.2. And then our preferred DNS server needs to be the same address as the IP of the uh, domain, okay? So our server one is set to this domain here. And then we just, again, set our static IP for server two. And then once you do that, as long as you verify that you have the exact correct spelling of your domain, you should have no problem getting connected. There's also a possible error message if you put in the wrong credentials, something to, to look out for as well. So we'll go ahead and restart the server. All right, so we can go ahead and sign in now, but this time we're gonna sign in with the domain account. So we're gonna repeat what we typed in the last step, indigo domain backslash administrator. I'm gonna use that password and we'll go ahead and sign in. All right, now we should be in server manager by default. Uh, these file services down here are delayed file services, so not a uh, cause for concern here. None of these are required uh, for the promotion of the domain controller, so we're not gonna worry about it for now. Now it comes the part where we actually add the controller to the existing domain. We'll go up to manage and we'll hit add roles and features. Uh, we can click next here, just some information. Here we're gonna employ a role-based or feature-based installation. We're gonna do this on server two, we'll hit next. Now in this page, we're gonna select active directory domain services and we need to add the required features. So hit add features, we'll click next. And then that's just a summary here and we can install it to proceed. 
All right, the installation is successful and we're ready to promote the server to domain controller. So we're just gonna hit the link here. And this is gonna pull up the ADDS uh, services configuration wizard. In the previous videos, we were adding a new forest in our initial configuration with our first domain controller. In this case, we wanna add a domain controller to an existing domain. Now again, our domain here is indigodomain.com and we're gonna be using the current user, which is the domain administrator. And of course, this uh, user has the permissions to join an additional domain controller to this. All right, so we'll click on next. Now we have some additional options here. We have uh, the choice of whether or not we want it to be a global catalog server as well. Uh, generally, that's good practice. So we can actually just leave this checked on here. And then whether or not you want it to be a domain name system server is up to you. Now, we're also gonna give this server a DSRM password. Uh, we can update DNS delegation here. Um, I'll just leave it and hit next. And then here, this is uh, not super applicable to us because there's only a single domain controller. Uh, so either selection is fine, we'll hit next. If you had additional volumes on your server, if you were a production house or something like that, we'd be able to specify the locations of the files here. So we'll just hit next here for the demonstration. Uh, looks like we have a review summary again, we'll hit next. And then it's just gonna do a prerequisites check. And we know the first two warnings are okay to see. Uh, we're just looking for all prerequisite checks uh, passed successfully. And once you see that, we can click install to begin. All right, and now that is finished, we're about to be signed out. It's going to restart the computer. All right, so we're ready to sign in again on server two after the installation. All we did was we went through the rest of the setup wizard, just clicking next and then hitting install and doing an automatic computer restart. So again, we can sign in here, indigo domain backslash administrator. And with our password. Now, if we go back to server one, we're gonna be able to see that we have multiple domain controllers. So in tools, we'll go back to our uh, users and computers and underneath domain controllers, now we can see server one and server two. All right guys, so that's gonna do it for today's video. If you found it helpful, we'd really appreciate a like, comment, subscribe, and share. And again, if you're interested in purchasing Windows Server, RDS licenses, and a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll put those links in the description box below. Stay tuned for more videos on Windows Server 2022 and Active Directory Domain. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next one.